Ian, we have a scumbag seller of the week. Unfortunately, we don't know who the seller is in this case. This is from uh, eBay uh, user Sick Cooper, who uh, has a YouTube channel, 11,000 subscribers. Uh, he's a game collector. Um, and he did a, a video, a pickup video uh, with a, different, a few different, different things. It, the, the title of the video is called An eBay Seller Tried to Scam Me Out of $1,600. Uh, so uh, Sick Cooper bought what he thought was a sealed authentic N64 Clay Fighter Sculptor's Cup. Well, I don't think he thought it was truly authentic. Well, I think that was the goal. goal. Right, right. To get one that he thought. He he realized that sure. for $1,600, he's taking a chance because the sealed one's probably worth more than that. I don't keep up with N64 prices. I do know that even a complete and boxed one costs over $1,000 yeah. for a Sculptor's Cup. So, a, a loose one goes for $300. So more than $300. I uh, think. Let me let me look right now. Why you? That's what we me. sold our last. That's what we sold our last one for. It was, was, was the last one you had? Uh, about a month ago. Oh, maybe someone got a deal. I don't know. I got mine for five bucks at Kobe's, so I'm I'm good there. Anyway, um, so he gets this game in the mail, and immediately he's like, something's off with this game. So the colors are. Like, off. I was gonna say immediately with I, I just opened this video, hit a point, saw the fake one, and was like, those colors are fucked. He compares because he has one in the box already. So the colors are off. Um, Not just by a little bit, like in the, some instances, quite a bit. The folds are off. So the folds are folded too close to the graphics, like on, on the top of the um, the clapper board. It's cut off because the fold is done incorrectly. Uh, he looks on the on the uh, up when you when you when you look at these things, you want to look at like the fine details of, of words. This goes back to like uh, people like trying to counterfeit sports cards it's hard to do the really fine details oh, they didn't even stuff. do the major details right on this like what i'm saying is that's how you go you look at the smaller things first sure. though but yeah the colors are off some like things are this. this right here is just like time code what time code uh 544 544 let's see what am i looking at here oh the side of the box with the with the the goofy uh, kid characters they're not even the same size yeah no the yeah exactly the the size is wrong the colors off the printing is insanely bad yeah, it's blur blurry. Some of the stuff, the the words are not uh, printed clearly in the fine print. They're, they're like not white. They're like off white. Yeah, yeah. This is bad. It's a truly, truly abysmal. I'm gonna look for this seller right now online because he, Sick Cooper, you you're gonna hide him from me. I'm gonna find him right now. So so here's the deal, Ian. So fortunately, uh, Sick Cooper, uh, he opened the case because even though it says not returns, if it uh, eBay told him that if it's bullshit like this where it's not what you ordered or obviously if it's counterfeit. You're going to be able to return it. The seller knew had that they even had, though, and just gave the money back. Because what are you going to do with a fake right. sculptor's cut that was sealed? So, Sid Cooper is like, you know what? I'm going to open this up. So, he opens it up. Um, and he discovers that not only is the box fake, but the, the color of the insert is not, not correct. You know, it's it has, just, it should be white. It should be it's white. just not. cardboard. Yeah. But then there's also pieces of cardboard taken off a box, like literally ripped off the side to, and sandwiched it in to keep it in the box. Oh, wow. Okay. It gets better. There's no even not even a fake manual in there. But then the game, Ian, wasn't even a fake sculptor's cut. It wasn't even a fake sculptor's cut. It is. I'm looking right now. Oh, yeah. I see the pieces of cardboard. NFL Club 98 or 99. Probably a, probably a very club. common, uh, what, $3, $2 game? You could probably... A I, dollar you game? might have to give those away for free. Give those away? Give those away like, like a PlayStation Classic? Yeah. So um, the good news is this, is that he got his money back without even returning it. So that's good. It looks like they do go, go, they go for $300. Sculptor's Cut uh, authentic ones here. Yeah. Um, they haven't gone on that up that much. They sort of plateaued. Interesting. Yeah. So these costs. Someone's trying to get twenty two hundred dollars for a just complete in box sculptor's cut. So sixteen hundred dollars for a sealed one seems like a really good deal uh, for that. So that's why he probably had an inkling that this is going to be fake. But in the chance that it isn't, whatever, I can get my money back. Right. That's a, that's a big risk for sixteen hundred dollars though. But the, but this is this is why this is bad though is because there could be a collector out there who didn't know any better and just pay six hundred bucks because never going to open it to see. Right. They've been had. Counterfeit yeah. boxes suck. Repro boxes suck. Again, this is this is reason three thousand four hundred and eighty-seven why they suck. The, the the easiest way to you know pass something off like this is to have confidence. You know, confidence, man. Um, you 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 take this shitty sealed, you know, to most people obviously not real, um, box, but you a game, but you throw it up there. 
you ask a reasonable price, uh, a reasonable price for it, maybe just a little bit under, and you just have to hope that no one's ever going to question it. Yeah, because this seller isn't going to apologize. They, they would have been fine selling this to someone. Right. They put in a little bit of work with their own sealed. I can't find this. I can't find the listing, unfortunately. I'm trying to find it because I want to call out the seller because who knows what what else they've done in the past or the future if they tried this shit. They try to rob someone at a sixteen hundred dollars. Yes. That's a, that's a, that's a, I think that's a felony in States over like, once you get to like a $700,000, this is, this is mail fraud and it's, and, and it's a felony at the same time. This is, this is a big deal. Yeah. And I can't find the listing. I'm kind of annoyed. I can't find it. Maybe someone in the comments, someone in the comments know the, the listing here. Uh, the problem is you hope that eBay will just ban the seller outright, but you don't know if they do this shit. I mean, usually they're just like, oh, we're making money anyway. Let's see. I can't, I can't find the seller on here. This fucking scam artist. I mean, they could have just blocked. I mean, they could have just removed it and. I mean, oh, removed the sole listing? Yeah. I mean, that's, okay. that's All probably right. what happened. All right, Sick Cooper, you got to call out who this is. You got you got to call out this, this seller here. There's no harm in that. We do it all the time uh, here. I'm just glad that he, he found this out. He's obviously knowledgeable. He opened it up and said, you know, what the fuck? And it, it's it's a funny story. It's 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 good for it's good for YouTube. The story, yes. I guess you could say that. It's good. It's good for YouTube. You know, it's not. You know, it's not good for YouTube. Pretending you're a victim because you, because you uh, sell your your prototype on, on eBay that you were supposed to. Yes. you're supposed to dump. It's a, sob, it's a sob story. So this is a better YouTube story. It's a better one. So all right, anything else to add, Ian? No. All right, all right. So uh, whoever tried to scam. Uh, Sick Cooper here. Whoever, whoever tried to scam him is our scumbag seller of the week. 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 And it, this was week. Week.